Hi, uh, welcome to my project of stock market sentiment analysis. Uh, in this project, uh, I'll be exploring how natural language processing techniques uh, can be applied to analyze the sentiment of uh, stock uh, tweets or we can say text data that we are getting from different sources like from uh, social sites, uh, then we have finance sites. And by analyzing those data, then we can use it for uh, uncovering the uh, inside from the data and then we can use it for uh, making predefined decision and we have sentiment analysis basically plays an important role in uh, understanding public opinions uh, regarding a specific stock and uh, analyzing these sto uh, sentiments uh, that are expressed in the form of a data that expressed in the form of a tweet or in the form of a post uh, we can gain valuable insight uh, about a specific stock and uh, we can predict the trends of those stock using uh, those uh, sentiments and then investor can use those stock to make a predefined determined uh, decision so my project basically consists of uh, three uh, step first is pre-process then we have sentiment classification and then is BERT training so in pre-processing, uh, I have just pre-processed the data and uh, handled the data to uh, remove the missing values from the data. So uh, first of all, I imported the uh, OS and Panda libraries uh, for file and data handling. Uh, then we have defined a pre-process tweet function uh, that takes a data object. Uh, then we have a str.lower function which is to uh, convert the text to a uh, lowercase then we proceed to fix the hyperlinks like http and https and wwd uh, to simply and then simply replace it with a space uh, similar thing we have done with the uh, symbols like we have commas uh, and similar sort of those symbol and we replace them with spaces to separate words properly and we also handle spatial character and symbols uh, as we can see here uh, then we have a fixed symbol different sort of symbols uh, we have number and finally we clean up some in extra spaces and remove ending punctuation like dot exclamation mark question mark uh, parenthesis columns uh, we covered the various pre-processing steps clean the text data uh, just to analyze the readability and uh, uniformity and then use the data further for analysis purpose in the next step um, moving on to the next file uh, in this file uh, we covered the code implementation for training evaluation of sentiment analysis. Firstly, we started with our importing important libraries like Panda, Preprocess, and NumPy. Then we have loaded the data, uh, displaying the data in the form of a table. Uh, for the first time, we have to import an LTK uh, if we haven't done before. So, importing an LTK and uh, from uh, we imported the weighted sentiment analyzer, analyzer from uh, NLTK. NLTK uh, weighted model is basically also known as sentiment and intensity analyzer. So, uh, using the weighted classifier, we predict the sentiment scores of each uh, tweets in the data set and assign a value to it. Mm. So, to realize the accuracy. Uh, accuracy of uh, weighted model then we remove the stop part uh, yes uh, we remove the stop part from pre-process tweet using a list of comprehensive and store so it uh, result in the form of a column and then we have uh, now we import additional libraries for NABIM model and uh, splitting the training and the test data the model fitting then we got TFID vectorizer uh, encoding then we got model accuracy uh, which is 83.04 which is pretty much 
uh, good then visualizing the model accuracy in the form of a figure then we got accuracy of best model which is 66 uh, we need further improvement in that uh, we have visualized the result uh, then in the final file uh, which is bird training uh, we will cover the code implementation for training of a bird based sentiment analysis model so we have started by importing important library like torch uh, make sure you have the correct version like 3.92 or uh, uh, you have uh, uh, quick commands for it so we have imported libraries transform on torch pandas preprocess numpy uh, then we have loaded the data in the next code snippet uh, in the next code snippet we have read the label stock tweet sentiment data from csv file and process the tweet into preprocess function tweet data function and in the next uh, code snippet we have uh, splitted the uh, pre-processed data into 8020 uh, trained stress split and converted the sentiment labels and then now we have initialized uh, the bird tokenizer with the bird base and case model and define a function for pre-processed data for uh, for bird encoding uh, we have determined the maximum length of encoded sequence uh, to analyzing the length of the tokenizing tweets okay we got encoding tweets for model uh, using uh, we have determined the maximum length of encoded sequence and using the pre-process function we have encoded the train and test uh, uh, data uh, we have created pytorch uh, loader data loader okay then we got here so within the bird classifier we have determined we have defined the layers for final classification uh, as i'm using the cpu so i have to set up my device according to it uh, in the next step we have a bird classifier model and we have moved it to the chosen device so uh, finally we define the loss function and entropy okay we got uh, after training the model we have saved the uh, model uh, named as uh, stock sentiment uh, model so we have created a dashboard for it uh, we just are going to realize it i am going to run the streamlit app which will be viewed in our uh, browser so let's just see it's just loading uh, so let's just see it will take a couple of seconds more uh, so as the ticker empty so it's not showing anything now we will be going to uh, first we are going to check the amazon stock as the date start date is similar to the ending date so i'm going to move the start date to 2028 to a random dates now i hope we will be seeing the graph i'll be sharing the code in the code link to my github repository uh, you can download it from there so here we can see a graph of amazon stock uh, then we have price movement of the amazon stock here we have apple stock we can see its uh, data from 2011 to 2019 its closing price was time chart then we have closing uh, price was a time chart with 100 ma and then we have 100 ma and 200 ma so finally we have prediction versus original uh, we can say it is not accurate but we can get some insight from, uh, using this data uh, the BERT accuracy is pretty much accurate uh, which is giving us 82% uh, as we are only using uh, one year data as we move toward uh, different okay we 2020-13 so we will get different prediction uh, with that okay uh, so that was my final year project uh, which is analyzing the stock market trend uh, by using sentiment data uh, incorporated in that text data 
So I guess 